Hi everybody, this is the Math 20-1 Radicals and Absolute Values Review. This is question 36F. Um, I'm just going to square both sides right away here. I don't mind the fact that there's a negative out front of the radical. It will, it will go away in just a moment. So when I square this, I'm going to get 3 minus x minus 6 root 3 minus x plus 9 is equal to that negative 1 squared is just going to go away and I'll be left with 2x plus 3. So now my goal is to get the, this radical all by its lonesome here. So I'm going to bring that x over. So I'm going to leave the negative 6 uh, root 3 minus x on the left hand side. I'll bring that x over to get 3x. And what have I got here? 3 and 9 is going to be 12. Bring that over will be negative 9 on the, on the right hand side. Um, I'm just going to simplify this. There's a common factor of, of let's say, uh, 3 to all of that. So negative 2 root 3 minus x is going to equal x minus 3. That's just a little bit nicer to look at. And now I'm going to square both sides. So I'll get 4 times 3 minus x is equal to x squared minus 6x plus 9. So 12 minus 4x okay, oops, equals x squared minus 6x plus 9. Let's bring that over. It's a quadratic, so we'll set it equal to 0. So x squared uh, minus 2x minus 3. So x, uh, what have we got here? Minus 3 plus 1. So x is either equal to 3 or negative 1. And you can't see that. Okay, there we go. So x is either equal to 3 or negative 1. And if we plug those back in, well, that's, that's nice because if you plug 3 in, that goes to 0. So this is just negative 3. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 3 is 9, square root of 9 is 3. But the negative in the front makes the 3 work. So 3 works. Now try the negative 1. 3 minus negative 1 is 4, square root of 4 is 2, minus 3 is negative 1. Okay. Uh, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, plus 3 is 1, square root of 1 is 1. Yep, negative 1. Negative 1 works. So both of those roots work.